Hey guys, it's Jake Mace. My friend High Carb Hannah told me that I have to do a proper what I eat in a day video without missing anything. I've been vegan 16 years, I'm pretty athletic, so today I'll show you exactly what I eat all day, every morsel of food, and it begins with my 6 a.m. breakfast right now. First I got this cinnamon raisin seven sprouted grain bread from Whole Foods, and I love raisin bread, so I got three pieces right here going on. And on this bread I'm gonna throw on some crunchy almond butter and fresh homemade apricot jam from my back and front yard garden. Okay, I've got this moringa powder that I made from my backyard moringa trees. This is homegrown. You won't taste it, but I always put a little sprinkle on my food because there's so many minerals and nutrients, including protein, vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin K, etc., etc. Moringa powder. Grow some trees in your backyard. Okay, and yesterday I also picked this papaya from my backyard garden. Even though I'm in Phoenix, I do grow papayas. These look amazing. Let's include this in the breakfast, cut it open, and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Oh my god, it looks so good. Homegrown baby. Totally ripe. Fresh off the tree. Backyard gardening is the way. Okay, of course I always lick the spoon. That's full of apricot jam and almond butter. I'm gonna take all these seeds and save them in this cup compost some, and plant the rest. Can I just say, it's early in the morning, and when you grow the food yourself, this papaya is so good. Mm. I'm also gonna drink a full glass of this coconut water. I've got an actual coconut in the fridge for lunch. Crucial to hydrate right when you wake up, so either fresh water or coconut water or lots of fruit, because fruit filters the water for you. Drink those water-rich foods first thing in the morning. Mm, that's so good. There we go, guys. There's breakfast. Papaya, raisin bread, almond butter, apricot, moringa, coconut water, and all my compost goes in my lovely little compost pail here. And I put it all into my garden. I'm gonna cover everything I eat today. I'm not gonna miss one thing, so stick with me to the end. Early morning workout time, and instead of all these pre-workouts that all these fitness people take nowadays, I just get a big box of organic dates from Coachella Valley. <laughs> I actually visited the farm these came from, and those are the dates right there. These are uh, Barhi dates, and I just have a bunch of these dates. I don't know, like 10? A little coconut water is my pre-workout. Let's go hit it.
typically what happens at this time of the day is I have to come take care of the garden and I'm starving. It's morning time and I'm starving. It's almost lunchtime. And I usually end up doing a few projects for about an hour, hour and a half here at the garden and take care of the animals. And I end up just kind of grazing and snacking on what's growing in the garden while I'm here. And then I go do a formal lunch. So let me show you guys what I'm grazing on and snacking on today. There is no garage here at Longevity Garden. So this used to be an area that was blasted by sun. So I decided to grow grapevines up these trellises. And now I've got grapes growing. So I'm going to pick a few of these blueberry grapes and eat those right now. They're called blueberry grapes because they look kind of like blueberries. Today what I'm doing is I'm going around harvesting everything into this recycled bag. Let me keep grazing, keep gathering, and uh, I'll come back to you guys in five minutes with my bounty. Hunters and gatherers. As a human species, are we hunters or gatherers or both? Well, I've decided to become just a gatherer and no more hunting for me. You guys, I got some plants being watered. I'm hanging here with the fish. And let's go through my little five minute harvest here. We got some peaches from the Bonanza miniature peach tree. I'm gonna totally eat these. Mmm, perfect. Got this fully ripe red sweet bell pepper from the pepper patch. Mmm. I got these collard greens called purple perennial tree collards. I like eating the little baby leaves because they're a little more tender. Scrumptious. I've got this really cool tomato that I forgot the name of, but I'm going to call it a Green Mr. Stripey. Mmm. It's really amazing. Then I've got these leaves called Longevity Spinach. Very nutritious, and let's munch on this. Mmm, like a dandelion flavor. I got some nice little sausage style cherry tomatoes. And then lastly, I've got the blueberry grapes. These guys are like, I wait all year for them. Mmm. Oh, they're so good right now. Mmm. So there we go, there's my after workout, during garden snack. Let's get out of the garden now and go do a proper lunch. All right, there's a vegetarian Indian place in town called Yadupi, where Tempe and Scottsdale meet right off the Scottsdale Road, and they have an all-you-can-eat, vegan-friendly lunch buffet. So let's go in there and chow down. <laughs> This really is one of my favorite places in all of Phoenix. When I'm hungry and they have the lunch buffet, especially on the weekends like this, it's so good. Okay, the sad part is that I finished the whole plate of the buffet. The good part is that it's all you can eat buffet, so I get to do it again. Okay, so I'm all done at Yadupi. They have one vegan dessert there, but it's not the one I want. So come with me and we'll go get the vegan dessert that's gonna make me feel special on the inside. All right, we're gonna go in here and get 
and Asahi. We've got mango, banana, raspberry puree, fruit-based Asahi sorbet, goji berries, and then we've got granola down below. Alright, I'm back here at home and I've been working all afternoon. I've worked out kind of a thirst, so I have this young coconut that over the years I have opened up a bunch of these. Let's see if I can do it here on demand. If I tip any farther, it's gonna pour out. <laughs> Alright. There's our coconut water. I'm gonna liven this coconut water up a little bit with one of these stevia sodas, zero calorie, zero sugar. Now that we've taken all the nectar out of this young coconut, we get to go inside there and scoop out all of the soft, I would say gelatinous coconut meat. It's not like an old coconut. The old ones you get from the store that are brown, these ones are much, much more delicious. I decided tonight I'm gonna go see a, a movie. I haven't been in the theater in so long. And I got my date today, and let me introduce you to nobody. <laughs> I'm going solo today. Let's go get a snack before the movie starts. There's this place right next to the theater called It's All Greek to Me, and I stopped in to get a falafel wrap, which is a pita wrapped around vegetables like tomatoes and lettuce and onion with falafel which is just like breaded vegetables that's fried with tahini sauce made of sesame seeds. We're gonna get this over to Chipotle next door and combine it with some guacamole and I'll be set for this movie. All right sitting here at Chipotle. I got chips. I got guacamole. I got this peach orange drink. Because peaches are in season right now in my garden. I would take this part off. Here's the falafel sandwich. This thing looks awesome. The tahini sauce is my jam. I love tahini, man. What I always do with my juices is I get a cup of carbonated water, just the soda water, and I pour the soda water into the juice to dilute it. This way, it's like a little fizzy juice, all natural, peach orange. Fizzy carbonated water. I gotta put Tabasco on this thing and make it spicy. All right, so just watching Wonder Woman. That's pretty good. There's a lot of room for improvement in that movie, but you know that Wonder Woman. You think she's vegan? I'm up late. Okay, we got banana. Sweet potato chips with flaxseed, organic vegan corn chips, eggplant hummus dip oil free, field roast sausage with spicy sauce, raisins, I guess a partially eaten organic vegan peanut butter cup, Greek olives, tangerine juice.